That looks sick. What do you think? I like it. What is up guys, the time has come, we are back on the Humvee build, it took us a minute to finally get the slam back complete, it took us a lot longer than we expected, not our fault, I guess the guy that was doing the slam back, he told us it's going to take 3 weeks, instead it took about 6 months, and you know the quality is not the best quality, but we're going to work with what we got, so as you can see we got a whole bunch of goodies for the Humvee, we got the doors, the X doors, it's with the RV kind of uh, style, Vinyl windows, right? So we got a whole bunch of brackets, or I don't know. We got, we're gonna have to start going through those boxes. It's been six months. I'm not even sure what came, but I'm really excited to get straight into this Humvee and start installing the doors finally, and then start working on body work, set bless the whole thing, and get it to look into one color, you know, or maybe leave it like an army color. I don't know what the color is going to be yet. So we're still deciding on that. So you guys can drop a comment, give us some ideas, or hit us up on our Foreign Bills channel and give us some ideas on there as well. But before we get into the Hummer build, make sure to check out our other builds, the 63, the M4, and whatever else we got coming. And if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button as well. So let's get into the doors right away. Alright guys, check this out. We got a whole bunch of stuff in that box, huh? We got little cup holders. We even got cup holders. I didn't even think this thing came with yeah. the cup holders. Got a whole lot of everything. Oh. Lot of everything. Little screws, little door locks. Even came with the key. We do have those door locks, right? Yeah, there should be. Some would be more. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening all this stuff. That way we'll kind of see what we're working with, you know? Yeah. So check this out. Whoever sent us the door, I, mean, I already forgot what company we ordered it from. I think it was, I I think it was eBay actually. Yeah, I know. But yeah, whoever whoever like is taking care of all this, they wrote everything down. Windows, yeah. door hinges, they wrote everything down where everything goes. That actually helps a lot. Like that, that helps a lot. I mean, we didn't have to guess and uh, you know try it out, make no mistakes. We cannot make any mistakes now at all. I mean, I know for a fact the first door is probably gonna take us a while. Yeah. Until we want figure everything out where everything goes. They do look pretty simple to do, not gonna lie, but I know the first door always takes the longest, so. Yeah, that looks pretty simple, and everything looks really, everything looks really good quality. And it's aluminum as well, just it's like the slab back, so. There's a lot of aluminum in this car, and fiberglass. He said there's a lot of, there, it's all aluminum. It's what all do you mean aluminum. there's a lot we of aluminum? You do have some fiberglass, right? Where? Ah, uh, yeah, the hood. The hood. The hood. <laughs> just the hood. All right, guys, so we did choose the main door, the driver door to start off first. Yeah, just in case we gotta drive somewhere, we don't yeah. pull out, you know what I mean? We're not worried about the other doors. We ain't got seat belts yeah, or anything. after that, I gotta go. Oh, about the seat belts. So we're not actually gonna put seat belts in here. With our seats, I think we'll be able to get away with racing harnesses. Yeah, some racing just harnesses. To, just to make it legit. California legit, right? I mean, this is California <laughs> legal, street legal already. We just need some doors on, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's throw these doors on and hit the streets. All right, guys, so we are going to start off with the window. It's the most simple thing to do on this door because I do not know if these, I mean, once we put this on rivets, I have no idea where the, where these cup holders go. They go on the inside, but thing well, is, yeah, they go on the inside, but where? And I, I wonder yeah. if they go on the same rivets. I you think, know what I mean? I think that the cup holders are maybe made to you can put them wherever you want. And honestly, we can glue it. We don't have to put in rivets. We can put in some really strong epoxy, right? And also with this, should we put glue under this, or should we just add more rivets? It all depends. If it's that's gonna be that's just in case. I mean, look, once we pop these rivets in, this is really thick aluminum. Yeah. It's actually, it's like quarter, it's a, it's a quarter inch. Yeah, Easy. quarter inch thick aluminum. I mean, once, once, look, once we clamp this side down, this side, that side. I mean, look, everything goes in really nice. Look, look at this. Pretend we go right here, rivet, rivet, and rivet. Look, look how nice it covers it up. I mean, it, it just sits yeah, so it perfect. it does sit pretty tight. It sits nice. It sits nice. Uh, 
Without wasting any time, let's uh, let's, let's get one door put together. <laughs> All right, guys, we were going to put the door handles on, but we are actually going to wait until we have all four doors installed. Reason why is because we still have to match it up to the door locks themselves with the hinges, and this thing is on rivets. Yeah, so we do got to put it on, looks like we got to put it on like yeah, pockets we, and waterproof. We have, to make, we have to waterproof it because yeah. all it is is it just goes like this and rivets. I have a bad feeling about water just dripping down the, yeah, dripping well, you, down yeah, the aluminum. Yeah, you want the water going you know? inside here and just going inside the car, right? We want to make no. it as watertight as possible. Yeah. Pretty much, so legit. we're gonna do that. We're gonna make it legit. All right, guys, so the bolts don't really look the best from the inside, yeah. but what I'm planning on doing is pretty much after we're all screwed on, set the door door gaps as best as we can, and then just pretty like much go ahead and grind them off. I feel like we should put them on some rivets or something. Because but then yeah. again, we were actually planning to maybe do some sort of kind of cover for the interior, also maybe with some station or something. But that's that's super easy to do. It's like uh, we're pretty much just gonna go ahead and do it like all the old school cars have it, where it's like a, a really thin sheet of wood, pretty much about quarter yeah, inch, I mean, and then just wrap it like in Alcantara or something, you know, just make it look pretty make simple. it look somewhat decent. Pretty simple. You just do a little something around here, throw that Alcantara all over it, and yeah. you're good to go. Right? All right, let's try let's try slapping the first door on. Let's Why do don't this. we? So we screwed up first time already. Right? Yeah, that's how that's the that's how it the goes. On the outside, actually on the inside. And they're supposed to go on the they're outside. They're supposed to go on the outside. There's a really fat gap right here. Like that makes makes a lot of sense. It's not just water, man. You're gonna be able to to you feel the wind without even opening your windows. You're gonna be able to put your hand right inside and open that lock. You're gonna lose your hairline. <laughs> Jokes on you. My hairline's already gone. <laughs> Alright, attempt number two. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. There you go. That looks good. That looks correct, right? That looks right. Oop, that looks right. Go. We're just gonna pull it forward a little bit, align the gaps. Good thing we have a playroom door could just slide, yeah. right? That's Let's awesome. check this out. Look at that little playroom in there. Dude, yeah. this is sick. Let me try it. Let me, <laughs> this is sick. Let me try some uh, adjusting them. Which one? Yo! Hey, how am I going to get my buckies? <laughs> hey, the flies ain't going to get in that. No, not at all. All right, so should we leave it, let it open all the way to the front? That looks sick. Or, I mean, we, we could just pull one of these little straps on here so we can just kind of... I mean, this one it. has it. Look, what I was thinking right here is... I mean, pretty much just doing something where it goes from here to here and it just kind of holds it in, you know? Yeah, we'll fabricate something. That's yeah. not even a problem. Open the door real quick, close it open a few times and see how it works. This is looking sick. Hey, I can't wait to throw works the like axe door. on. And we gotta throw the axe on. That's that's what makes it a Humvee. Alright, let's go. Axe doors. Let's do that now. So look at this. Called it out. Who called it out? You called it out. I called it out. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess the longer ones yeah. do. So this yeah. is also an armrest, yeah. not just a cup holder. So, so we can't I'm put on glue anymore. We gotta put on ribbons. We gotta make it really sturdy because I like to stand on that when I wash the roof of the car. What? No. <laughs> we have to find out what we want. I mean, it's gonna be, you're gonna be sitting in the car, your armrest. So how about we do this? Let's throw this on 100%. Let's install it. That's gonna be the We're, last. We can always so drill holes these, later. These three we're leaving here for now. We're not doing these three. Yeah. These are for the armrest. All right, that sounds like on. a plan. All right guys, so check this out. We actually went to four stores to try to find a gun for these rabbits and we found nothing. Nothing. Nobody has anything. Not even the air ones, you know what I mean? <laughs> nothing That's at crazy. all. That's crazy, yeah. But now we're just gonna go go ahead and just keep on working, keep on installing until we find, find a gun, right? Yeah, for now let's just go ahead and just throw them on some bolts because I'm probably not gonna sleep at night without knowing how this looks <laughs> in the car. That looks sick. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Especially when the whole car is gonna be one color. I oh think man. it's going to look sick. See, what are we gonna do? Hey, what are we gonna do with this net though? I don't know, man. Gonna... I, I think we're just gonna pull it out, man. There's no need for this thing. At least, at least pull it out. I mean, yeah, it's easy to pull it out. You just pull the little thing comes out. We can pull it in wherever we just put it 
Yeah, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and actually throw on the back door just to see how it looks complete. Somewhat complete. We still gotta do all of this little things around the wrap, vinyl around for the waterproofing, all this good stuff. So let's go ahead and actually throw the back door on. All right, guys, so it is currently the next day, and we did end up getting a rivet gun. But we this ended up borrowing it. It's borrowing it. But this one, this one does fit for these rivets. So without wasting any time, let's just go and start popping those rivets in. All right guys, so check this out. We did finish riveting on the doors completely, somewhat. And we did install one of the cup holders slash armrests, right? Yeah. So let's actually throw one of these suckers in and see how it looks. We can, so finally, we can, you know, we can stop by some gas station, buy some drinks and stuff, there instead of go. just putting it over there and spinning all over the carpet. I mean, it's nice. I really, yeah. really, I really like this. Sir. Damn, but the, the thing is, it was going to be so easy to do like a door panel for the inside because it's so but flat, you know what I mean? Handle. Oh, and actually, I didn't even—I didn't even know that, that was a handle. Yeah, me neither. To be honest. But yeah, we, we do we do have to throw these on rivets as well right here. But we do have to make our own holes. So, but right now, I'm thinking the way they made it is there's no like water sealant or anything inside here. So I think we're gonna have to buy some sort of gasket or or, or, or waterproof caulking or something. I think we're just gonna waterproof it ourselves with caulking yeah, or yeah, anything. Yeah. You know, just make it somewhat yeah. waterproof. So for now, we're not gonna throw it on rivets just because we don't wanna drill them back out. But we are going to throw on these little self tapper screws right here, just so we can temporarily have doors so they can lock it on. Like because I mean, this thing just keeps swinging in and out every time and we drill it. And one more thing, I think we're gonna go ahead and change. Whoa. I think we're gonna go ahead and change the mirrors because with these mirrors it's really hard to see when you're backing up yeah, Especially that's the true. fact that we don't have the back window. Yeah, I mean so the thing is we are debating if we should throw in the back window or not I mean we do want windows over here on the side like little slanted windows And we did want a like a really long glass window over here as well But I mean but just the way the guy made the, the main pillars oh, and everything boy. it's gonna be pretty impossible for us to actually yeah. I'm honestly just, oh, I'm completely oh. upset about the whole I slam mean, it is, it is what it, it is, what is, it is but, but I mean, there's still, I mean, record that. Look at all this, look at all the stuff we need to fix. You see all, yeah. the, all the sunlight glaring through that? Yeah, look at all that daylight going through, man. That's all that water been leaking through this. And the thing is, there's like a little U-channel. The slam bank is supposed to come off and go back on. So there's somewhat like a U-channel and you have to put a rubber gasket there. But I mean, look at this, guys. This is just... That's just bad, man. <laughs> yeah, not good. I mean, it is it is things we are able to repair, no problem. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're able to do that, but I'm just saying right now for it's the just, roads. It's just we did not expect as we expecting it, you know. I'm going to say let's get the seats in, the doors in, and then just take you for a bunch of test drives. You know, that way we kind of... We kind of get the feeling of what's rattling in the roof, especially what's yeah, not. That way we, sure. we focus on the roof first, and then we focus on the slam back last. Which we got to take it off to see what's rattling. Yeah, pretty much. Right, Anyways, let's get back to the doors. Let's get to the doors.
All right, guys, so we do have the door handle actually installed, but the only problem we're running into right now is when you close it, it still rattles. First, we're gonna do is put on the weather strip all around. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and change the hinges, the second part of the hinges. And then after that, we also put these reinforced ones on. Damn, look at these know? ones though. These ones are thick. This one's like an eighth inch. These are pretty heavy. Dude. Those ones should be for the back seat. I mean, look at this right here. This yeah, is those should one. be for the back seat. These should be for the front seats. Look at this. Look at the difference. Yeah. Once we get all those installed, this thing will not be rattling at all. And we're going to make yeah. sure of that. Well, we should probably adjust this in and out just so it can be really See that? Tight. You see how long? You see the yeah, playroom on it? Yeah, it has, little... it has a lot of playroom. But first, we need to do is put the weather strip on to see exactly how much we need to adjust it. All right, guys, so we threw it on the weather strip. It just, it's bad. We're not gonna go with this. It came with the doors. I like the doors, I like everything about the doors, but I hate this weather strip. I mean, I mean look, look at it. it this, just, part's, this part's stuck on, right? Somewhat yeah. stuck on, and then this, this part's just, just loose. This part's just loose, you know? Yeah. It's not. It's, That's one thing. Second, it's not the second best part thing. is I hate how it comes out outside of the door. And you're just gonna see like this weird leather kind of gasket around you know I don't really yeah, like and it. I don't like it either I mean, so what we're going to end up doing is we're gonna get our own weather strip and we're gonna end up putting it on glue right on the edge after the paint after everything's complete that way the door just looks finished like this is gonna be painted it's gonna look nice you know it won't it won't look like this right here I mean I really, I really don't like that so that's all going to the trash and yeah. we're gonna go with the, the doors the doors are nice I love the doors the weather stripping yeah, Not you gotta really. go with something different than that, man. All right, guys, so we do have this door complete 100% except for the weather stripping and the gaps are still something we're gonna need to mess with, but that's towards the very, very end. But look at this. I mean, I'm able to hold, move the whole ass home. Yeah, and I, I like how it's not rattling. It's not. Right now. You can't really, it, you and can't then really hear one, anything. One more thing that we're having an issue with is the door doesn't close by itself because this still needs to be grinded down. All we gotta do is grab a grinder, take off like one eighth and we're good to go. And we're good to go. That's something that's pretty much easy fix. Other than that, like this, it closes no problem. So we're not gonna bore you guys with the other three doors once we figured out one door. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is put you guys on the tripod and just time lapse all three doors. That way we're not wasting your time. All right, guys, so we have completed all four doors. Listen to the sound. It's like a G-Wagon. Gives a G-Wagon vibe, but a little better. So now that we have completed all four doors, our next move is actually to remove the slam back, fiberglass the whole roof, and hopefully put the seats in 100% so we could take this thing out on the road. Anyways, guys, this is actually gonna be it for today's video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, and if you wanna see behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram at Builds. Peace.